you know guys I don't know if this has been done yet but I've done it I just took it outside I didn't open it up I just literally ran it maybe 30 yards up the road up my little cul-de-sac maybe at only 30% throttle just to see if it's gonna drive before, more than anything without frying a uh, spur gear because the spur gear is plastic and I've just uh, upgraded this little bad boy little four-wheel drive 9125 to uh, brushless as some of you will know who have this car it has two motors 390s I think they are two 390 motors in the back I'll, I'll just rip all that out as you can hear it's running sounds nice let me give you a little a see if I can give you a quick demonstration because obviously uh, I've got to hold the phone too so give me a second it's probably easier if I just turn it on its back Yeah, the elastic bands are just, uh, I've got some parts to order, I broke the tower, which I'm going to show you now. So, uh, yeah, and plus uh, it's not completely all strapped in yet. There you go. Well, there was two motors in there, I'm running it on one. So more than likely, I'm going to strip that spur gear, because it's plastic. Just about see it in there, but it is plastic, that's not going to last long. Well, I just wanted to do the conversion and it's done well it was a waterproof buggy it ain't no more you can see I've only got a little 2S slide hole 1600 milliamp in there nothing too powerful but for a 60 amp EC you can see what the motor is there 4 300 kV There you go. Things fitted in nice. Oh, this has just got to get strapped in. Strapped down. Motor's in solid. Servo's in solid. Just filling a little tiny bit of space. A couple of mil space in there. I'm going to change it for a Savo because this servo is very weak. It barely turns these wheels. Receivers in there and a battery. I have actually got this battery. I just haven't found all the mounting positions yet for my receiver because, hence, this battery from the size of the cutout is what's actually going to go with there. It's a free S LiPo. And then I'm going to send it up the road and probably shred the spur gear most definitely. But I reckon if I just run it on this battery, I might get away with not knackering the spur gear so quick. But yeah. It's uh, at the moment it's running pretty neat. Let's get all this off, that's the hand off here. So you can see it's not all strapped in yet. It's all still loose in there. And it's, all, and it's raining, so I didn't really want to go for any puddles and get all this stuff wet. So, yeah, eventually. My battery will sit in there, and the battery will go in there. It fits in actually quite very snug. Once you get it in there, it won't come out. It doesn't need any straps or anything. It actually fits in just perfect into that space. I've just got to mount my receiver on here somewhere in the front, and mount my switch and an off switch, and just tidy the wires, get them all nice and tidy across the middle or something. Yeah. I glued my flat tower back, that's what the elastic bands are for. Snapped it clean at the hinges doing a jump so it's only gonna go again but yeah. I've gotta order a new piece of that and then chop it to shreds again like this. 
I'll probably do a better job on it next time around. Trim out some of the insides and stuff. And yeah, I've just got a little bit there. I just know this needs to take down a bit so you don't poke my battery. Apart from that, as you can hear, it's running. Conversion done. Um, homemade wheelie bar. It's alright, like. Just to keep it on the floor. As soon as it lifts up, it's on the wheelie bar. So hopefully, it'll keep it on the floor. If you're really too hard, it actually just goes straight up on the wheel and wobbles because it's, there's no suspension on it. But well, this is just the first bad job. I will do another one sorry if the voice is low holding the spliff in my mouth I shouldn't really do that while I'm doing a video <laughs> smoking on the job anyway there's my 9125 brushless upgrade next video it will be fully completed all new parts you know, that elastic band stuff all nice and tidy and hopefully Asperger will still be alive. Till then, peace.